Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to download and install iOS 13 today. Now it's still in beta, so this is going to be the beta software, but if you wanna take advantage of all the new iOS 13 features, here's how to install it now. Let's get started. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, this is a beta software and we're gonna be using the iPhone. This is the iPhone XS. As long as your phone supports iOS 13, you should be able to update using this beta option. You can do this on your iPad as well. The first thing we wanna do is open up Safari on our phone and you wanna to go to the website beta.apple.com and it'll take you to their beta software program page. Now from here, we'll scroll down to where it says sign up or if you're already a member, tap sign in. If you are signing up for the first time, it's very simple. Just enter in your Apple ID and tap sign in. And from this guide for public betas page here, you can see that you can get the Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, or even TV OS beta updates. So we're gonna focus on iOS for iPhones. And it's simple, just read through all of this information and you're gonna to wanna to back up your device before you actually download and install this. You don't wanna have anything deleted or removed or lost from your iOS device. So be sure to either back it up to iTunes or iCloud and ensure that all your pictures and everything are backed up as well. There's even information here. So once you've read through all of this, you'll just scroll a little bit back up. You'll see a little link that says enroll your iOS device. We'll tap on that. And it's gonna just notify you that you are updating using a beta version. Again, to backup first, you can archive an iOS backup with iTunes. The information is here for you, so make sure you do that first. Again, you can read through all of this information, and when you're ready, you can tap on Download Profile. So we'll tap that. We'll tap Allow here. And once the profile is downloaded, we're going to go to our Settings application here and we can see there's a section that says profile downloaded. So we'll tap there. It's going to give you a little bit of information. You can see that it's verified. If you're good, you can tap install. You can also see more details here of all the information that's going on with it as well if you're really concerned. Otherwise, tap install, read through this again. Lots of reading involved. Tap install when you're ready. Tap install again. It's gonna prompt you to restart. We'll tap restart. And once the phone has restarted, we'll just open it up, open our settings once again. This time, we're going to scroll to the General tab and tap Software Update. Now, once we've done that, you're gonna see the iOS 13 public beta update will be available. Take note that it does take up quite a bit of memory. It's 3.85 gigabytes on this phone. Sometimes with updates, you'll need more than what's recommended here. But at this point, it's just like installing any other update. So if you have the space, tap download and install. So at this point, we're just going to allow it to download and prepare the update. You wanna make sure you have enough battery life. If you don't or you're worried, plug it up to a charger. Ensure that you have a stable internet connection. Otherwise, the download may take a long time or stall completely. So we'll just wait and I'll see you guys when it's ready. So that took a little bit longer than expected, but basically it'll prompt you to install the update. You can tap install or you can just wait and it'll begin installing it like so. You'll see your phone will turn off and on a few times. Again, just leave it, give it its time to do so, and I'll be back to show you what to do next. All right, so the software update is complete and you can see a pop-up appeared here. Swipe up to finish setting up iOS 13. We'll swipe up, it'll show us, update is complete. We'll tap continue. It's gonna go through that whole setup process. I'll just set everything up later. I'm just gonna enter in my very secure password, use it anyway. Go through this whole process here, and you'll be able to now take advantage of one of the new features here, which is the light or dark appearance or dark mode. So we can tap the dark mode and you can see the background went black. We'll set it up with dark mode just so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look. Light is the standard view that we're used to with the iPhone. I really like the dark mode in things, but uh, you can see how the dark mode will look in certain applications. You can play around with that yourself, but you can see we have iOS 13, some of the new features, shortcuts. The Find My iPhone app is now a new application. It looks a little bit different. Let's just open our settings once again here. We've got nice dark mode for our settings. We'll go to the general tab and the software update section here. And you can see your software is up to date iOS 13. 
So that's how you update to iOS 13 using your iPhone. You can pretty much do the same thing if you have an iPad using that beta software program, that link that we went to at the beginning. If you ran into any issues, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out any way I can. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. But keep in mind, this is a beta, so there could be bugs and glitches as there are with most Apple betas. So keep that in mind if you're planning to update. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and click that bell notification button. That way, as soon as I post new videos, it'll prompt you on your phone. You can just tap on it, start watching right away, be the first one to comment on the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.